Hello Space Explorers, in this video I will show you how I have been finding Voyager. It is not really a method, but my way of finding Voyager, which may be useful to you. I could never find Voyager using Hubble or Portable Telescope. So I decided to forget about it and start looking on Instinct, until I saw the flickering light that you see on the screen. And to find this light, I wander between Makemake and Haumea, at a distance of 30,000 from Neptune and 11 to 14,000 from Makemake. I use a more empty server and search without haste for the flickering light. Until I started hearing Voyager's Morse code. So I just have to go there, and get the Voyager Golden Record. Which is not so easy for me, as I have difficulties with moving objects in Space Simulator, such as Halley and Moonlit Rock. So this first time I found it alone, there were several attempts to mine it without cutting the rope. Also because I always get a little tense when it comes time to finally get the golden disc. But with persistence, I finally got it. And it was a special moment for me, because I was able to share my joy in the chat with other players who are excellent at finding Voyager, like Fabi who we call Voyager Lord and Cassini Voyager. But I also managed to find Voyager leaving Makemake towards Haumea, at this distance close to 48,500 and angle in relation to Jupiter and Uranus that you can observe. And for me, the most important thing is not that I know how to find Voyager by myself, but that you can see the flickering light, which I'm highlighting in the video, so that you can also go and find the golden record yourself. Right now she's still weak, but that will change as we get closer. Let's take a look now. This is how you can identify Voyager's flickering light. It may seem difficult, but over time you will find it easier. Until you start hearing the Morse code. Please note here also the angle and distance to Haumea, Neptune and Jupiter, as this may help you find Voyager. And once again, I have to confess that it wasn't easy for me to get the golden record. I had to make a few attempts until I got it. And I'm sharing this with you so you know that even though it's easy for some to get the golden record, for most of us players, it's still a big challenge, and that's okay. The important thing is not to give up and find your way to reach Voyager and get the golden disc however possible for you. Voyager spawns in different locations and takes different paths, so I'll illustrate with another opportunity in which I found Voyager and got the golden record. And here you can already see the still faint flickering light of Voyager. Let's try to make the light more evident. Can you see it? As I said, although it is not easy, you will improve your ability to see. I'll show it one last time, in case you haven't seen it properly yet. Now that we have heard Voyager's Morse code, please pay attention to the position of my spaceship and the distance and angle of the planets in relation to it. I confess that I did not expect to find Voyager at this point, with this distance from the main planets, Haumea and Makemake. Well, once again it's time to get the golden disc. There's Voyager. It's always cool to see her approaching in space. I did my best to have a better approach this time. But I still haven't mastered the art of mining Voyager on the move, so I had to try again. And this time, I was successful. If I, who am just a tryhard, can find Voyager my way from time to time, any space simulator player can do it too. 
Never give up. See you, space explorers.